It's your boy Dwight representing for the DSC Halloween Day Party going down on Sunday, October 29th from 4 to 10 p.m. at Pacific BK. We're giving away $500 to the best costume. That's right, $500 to the best costume. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to need y'all to be a little creative. That Jason mask not going to cut it this year, my brother. You feel me? Put some effort into it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a movie. Come out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You heard? Get out! Their headphones while they party. Yeah, Word. I could do that. I could get headphones. I could be white today. Huh. I could be white today. <laughs> Say that. The headphones just mostly help with like when you turn in your your face, you can hear yourself drifting, so you'll know to speak into the mic. If that if you don't got a problem, like if you watch the episodes and you realize that's not a problem with you, yeah. you don't really need it. Yeah, you can get headphones if you really want. Say that. Get up here. I was listening you to. Want to feel like a rapper so bad. You got <laughs> in the booth, nigga. <laughs> Cut that shit out. I want to feel like a true podcaster. Feel me? That's so what, we not me? true podcasters because we don't wear headphones? Damn. Nah. I not should bust it without headphones, nigga. I'm just saying, I feel like when niggas first- Next! Time, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, before we start, yo, Wolf, is your mic live? Like I was but, saying, when niggas yeah. first started podcasting, everybody was wearing headphones. Now, True. niggas is just straying away from the from the format, man. That's niggas gotta... The engineers are a lot more reliable now. One, two, three, one, two, three. You want to be Jamaican so bad lately. Mm. What's up with you? I do, man. I ain't going to lie, bro. It's... Don't worry, bro. It's not even trendy to be Jamaican no more. You feel me? You got to be for some island that's like on the side, like a small island, you feel me? Uh, and you can be like, yeah, my nigga, I'm from fucking um, St. Croix and be the nigga to bust from St. Croix. And then you got the whole St. Croix unlocked, you feel me? Okay. True. Yeah, it actually applies to America too, you feel me? This is like back when Wiz Khalifa was coming out and nobody was really from um, Pittsburgh. Were you from Pittsburgh? Mm -hmm. okay. Memphis Bleak? Yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then he was like the first main nigga from that. So okay. you, just, so you hold your city down. He just said Memphis Bleak. Memphis Bleak is from Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, so what you said? I said Wiz Khalifa. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just said yeah. Memphis Bleak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Memphis Bleak? For yeah. some reason. I don't Shout know. Shout out to Memphis Bleak. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's not who I was referring to. Okay. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You the first. Um, where's ESTG from? Kentucky? I don't know. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, and I'm saying now you the man from that. The white okay. boy is from Kentucky too. Um, Jack Harlow. Mills? Yeah, Jack Harlow. Oh, yeah, and I'm word. saying you more so want to be the you want to be the man from where you from versus just being a nigga fitting into a bunch of niggas. Yo, is there like a balls. lit rapper from Hawaii? Yes. Who? Who? I know. I know a couple. I'm said, yeah, I, I said yes to Dwight. Rap, not so much. I know a couple artists from Hawaii. I used to talk with a reggae band. With okay. My friends. Um, they got like a nigga named J Bug and shit. Um, you know that song? Can't nice to away. nice to know. Yeah, let's do it again. No, nah. all right, cool. I'll play yes, you got. I know okay, that song. thank you. Fuck you, bitch. Who's <laughs> 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 feeding for me to stand on that island alone? <laughs> I need to hear this song. It's it's, it's, it's it's a very cliche reggae white resort sounding song, but okay. niggas from Hawaii. Okay. Um, so yeah, That's shit like that. Know. But um, are we started? Yeah, we've been started. Oh, shit, man. Thanks, well, I'm, 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 it was the quality of his performance why you don't know the song. I promise you if yeah, you hear I, it. Nah. Because it, it took yeah, me a second. Because I did word. better than the nigga. You feel oh, word. Me? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that, that's what it was. You feel I got to hear this song. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Dad, first of all, Daddy, when I put the auto tune on, my nigga, I'm not so bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, well, you got the plug in. You can sort it out for the episode. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. How <laughs> you doing, right. my brother? I'm good, man. Thanks. I'm chilling. You have a middle name? A middle name? Yes. You want to know it? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. I All thought right. Jamaicans ain't have middle names. It's probably know. some shit like Romaine because he's Jamaican. Oh, yeah. I would have rather that, but yeah. nah, my, nah, shit is, your middle name? my shit is whack. Wild. My shit is whack. What I'll is tell it? you my middle name you tell me yours. Tell me yours first. Stefan. Damn, Dwight Stefan Bartholomew? It's really Stephen, but I say Stefan, but it's My brother's name is Stephen. P-H-E-N. I'm saying Stefan. That's how my cool. brother's name is spelled. And yeah. We call him Stephen. Yeah, but That's I get dumb. to control it. Yeah, I respect <laughs> it. I respect it. But my middle name is Donald. What? Donald? Donald? Shit is dumb. I Donald? <laughs> Damn. I did not see that. Donald, Donald. I ain't gonna lie. dumb, right? All right, my nigga. It's uh, actually my dad's name. Uh, uh, okay, okay, got Binks, you. Binks, Donald, 
Nigga, my Whatever. first name not Banks. I know, but I... <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> yo, live. I'm you dead. really, you really yo. be shooting it, bro. Yo, shit. The, uh, that is that funny. That nigga said Banks, uh, Donald. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, oh, man. um... How how was your week, my brother? Live. What's yeah. your mo- fucking middle name? What's your middle name, nigga? Hold on, my week was good. Mm-hmm. It was it was perfect. Um, I got to I got to rest. You feel me? I got to have some fun. You okay, know, a lot of all things. Right. Fuck all of that. But What's back to you. Name? My middle name is Jordan. Word. Yeah, that's cool. Levar, is it spelled a weird Levar way. Levar Jordan. Jordan like Jordan. No, nah, spelled like Jordan. L J. Like call Jordan. You from, that's what your family call you. Hell no. Sound like some mm-hmm. shit they would call you. Yeah. You wanna know what my family call me? What? Well, at least in my hood. No. Holla. Holla? Holla. <laughs> Your hood call you hollow? Holla. Holla. Holla? Like holla for holla. a dollar. Holla. Yeah. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. holla, holla, holla. Yeah. Why? That's how he got it. It was name. just a nickname I had since I was young. You was they said my aunt for a dollar. Yeah, they said my aunt <laughs> gave it to me because I used to always cry when I was a baby. So oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. It's a yeah, okay. holla. Um, my brother Danny, how you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm happy to be here. My middle name is Andre. I was just about to ask this nigga. You look like an Andre, though. Yeah. That what like the fuck an Andre name. look like? No, no, like I understand Danny. what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. What? What do Andre yeah. look like? Y'all know any dark skinned Andres? Yes, nigga. Right, so brown skin I don't best. know any dark skinned Andres. Oh, so that's probably why. Brown skin at best. Nigga, my brother's uncle. I mean, my brother's. Yeah, my brother's uncle is dark skin. His name is Andre. Oh, okay. Mm. That's what's up, man. Well, uh, thank you guys for pulling up. We are missing two people this week. That is super duper humble, and the price is right. Uh, big Them up niggas yourselves on their way to getting fired. Big up yourselves <laughs> wherever you are. They just oh, y'all said y'all reserve. fired me, right? That Patreon episode. Yeah, these niggas show. about to be. I'm fired looking at the comments. I'm like, yo, what the fuck they talking about? <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> nah, <laughs> but you, you feel me? You you took your your back to back bullet, so you back and you better. Now. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. Yeah, I'm saying. Um, the Hess truck is coming again this year. Does the Hess truck still come? I don't know. Do they still have the Hess station? Actually, oh, that was based off the Hess gas station. Yes. I seen that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, what you said? I seen that a video on Instagram saying that if you had like an original Hess truck? truck from them, they giving niggas probably like 25 grand or some shit like what? that for the truck. Yeah. A, a, a Hess toy truck? Yeah, the toy trucks. If you have the original oh, one like shit. in the box type shit. That's if really they, some classic they, shit, bro. If you could find it, they said if you could find it used in like good condition, you get like five grand for the shit. Who's really gonna have that shit in a box? Because People do that, nigga. When you, no, I'm saying, but you normally was buying it for your kids. Yeah, as a but gift. there's older so niggas you're opening it for Christmas. But there's yeah, older but, niggas that buy the shit as a collectible. And you knew yeah. that already at that time. I knew, I knew that was a collectible since I was a kid, but I never had one. But it's because it's because it came out every year. Yeah. I knew it was a somebody. I think my brothers talked about it. The more you collect them, and the more you have all of them shits, you get more bread for them. Shits. It's one nigga. It's that like got toy all trains and shit. Some shit yeah. is bread. Bro. I already know. That's shit, what's up, man. Shit like that, you buy two. One to open, one to put on. If you mm-hmm. really feel like your kid need to open that shit, put one on the shelf and one for the open. What would you say, like, yeah, first time, like, when was y'all, like, first time having, like, a run-in with porn? Oh, I can tell you that right now. Me I was too. in first grade. Um, My pops had a tape, right? The nigga, that was a horrible hiding place, you feel me? <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, niggas live in New York City where there aren't much hiding places available, mm-hmm. you feel me? There's only, but that was a the place that I lived with the smallest square footage when I lived in the 90s, mm-hmm. right? It was one of those four family buildings. Apartment is small, you feel me? So it's like, nigga, you're going to find anything that's there to be found in that apartment. Right. So you're going in your parents' shit, whatever, tape is like hidden right there in the closet, whatever, cool. Um, Pop that shit in. Son, this bitch titties was like, it was so weird because the titties wasn't like round like this. It was long. It was like this. Oh, it was just sticking straight oh, up. Yeah. Them, the them fake shits. Yeah. Them I'm fake like, shits. Oh, what kind of time are you that pond really? But I'm six. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah. I'm also learning. I'm saying so it's not that I have this big knowledge database of what titties really look like and shit like that. But I know that looks weird to me. And then another shit off rip. The bitch had some brolic akuma anal beads type shit. You feel me? Like... Mm. Popping them shits in like, word. You know I mean? yeah. Six years so that, old, you son, watching that? That's what I'm saying. So like, my first poem was <laughs> on some weird thing already. You feel me? Damn. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy. I remember my first run in. 
I think I talked about it on the last Patreon episode. Yeah, it was like was Cinemax and HBO, but the the real first running where it was like I saw Mad Porn at one time, and it was like some different shit. My cousin, this nigga had Mad DVDs, like, and he was like, "Yo, pick one." Nigga was like, "Yeah, you gonna see what sex really is." Book nigga, talk? um, nah, you remember Black Ice? Black ah. Ice, hell yeah, yeah. nigga. You're that shit nigga. start off on the nah, black nah, screen nah, and then what? and then it pop up as black ice on the screen type shit in ice. <laughs> I type never heard shit. of that. Yeah, you never seen Bro, that. you heard of that? Black no. Ice, my nigga. I that was a car freshener. Damn, black, black Ice, ice was right? Like, black <laughs> Ice is <laughs> a lit car freshener, though. Okay, but, but that is not lit no more. That but shit, yeah, I'm a 57 year old. Nigga. Those are the real raw <laughs> DVDs. Nah, I remember nigga had the Xbox at that time. And I'll just go. That nigga yeah. Xbox was on, out when you, you fucking watched Xbox? porn? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I was watching fucking. Xbox my first porn was on like cable or some shit. Yeah, I think I was on like fucking one of them HBOs or one of them shits. Yeah, that know. was my first time, but this was like my. Because you know, that's kind of like soft porn in a it way. It don't matter, nigga. I was seeing titties and all of that shit, nigga. Nah, but they ain't never fucking, showed the pussy. Fucking, fucking for real. Oh, like, they never showed real? the pussy, yeah. and I was tight because right. of that. So my first time like watching fucking for real, my. My step pops, his brother, used to live with us and shit. Uh-huh. And that nigga used to have mad porn, bro. Like, mm. this is tape or DVD? Tape and DVDs, oh, okay. bro. Like, tape days, niggas was like, I used to like steal them shits and mm-hmm. go watch them and like forget to put them back. Type oh, shit. <laughs> shit. You feel me? Like, because people would come home, you know what I'm saying? You try to turn that shit off, grab the tape mat. They just put shit. it, yeah. Nigga, one day, I'm watching one of them shits right when I come from school type shit, right? Mm hmm. Somebody was coming through the door. I tried to fucking eject the shit and the fucking Oh, it started rapping. Broke got it. Got stuck in the fucking VCR. Nigga, I'm in there like this. Word. I'm trying to break that shit, nigga. That shit was not break, bro. <laughs> it was my brother walking in and shit. And I fucking me and him just ended up fucking pulling that shit. He's like, why are you watching these? Bro, <laughs> funny ass shit about that. You know, um, the way the PS2 yeah. is set up, right? Like the eject button is kind of like extended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I was by my parents' crib, my mom, she be trying to clean everything every day for whatever reason. I'm saying not every day, but like no, week, week, weekly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm a West Indian shit. So I had that shit in the PS2. So all you got to do is like brush it. You know what I'm saying, and, and that shit, shit flip open, beep. yeah, <laughs> and no, shit. shit, my nigga, and that shit was definitely, you know, what I'm saying some, um, it wasn't necessarily booty talk, but it was definitely a vibe. So she just push it back in, and like she they started. started making life way easier for gamers back then. So, so you, it's started. yeah, you don't got <laughs> parents. Normally back in the day, you got change the input yeah, and all that shit. They wasn't shit, doing yeah. that shit. I think from PS2, it was changing your TV's input mm-hmm. already. Already when started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so she found that shit. But I'm like, yo, my nigga, what you want me to do? <laughs> I'm saying, I'm watching this shit just like I found the tape in y'all crib. Before, my nigga. Word. The hell? So you think a, a parent rather catch her son fucking or masturbating? Um, I think your parent. What, rather, like in the act of it? Yeah, in the act. I think your parent would rather catch you fucking. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, okay. masturbating is like you're a freak. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's the middle of the day. This is what you're doing. This Did you do your homework? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? This nigga imagine you fa- imagine you failing in school. <laughs> oh, I'm saying you're not studying, but you here masturbating, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really do that in West That's house real shit. Caught. That's real. So, That's real. Remember in that movie? You already ma- oh, your damn book. <laughs> Yeah, that I remember that movie <laughs> when he was like, the, "No, I'm just saying, nigga." Like, you remember that movie, The Wood and the Homo, when he was like, like pouring ice on his dick. Y'all ever did some shit like what that? What was he doing it for again? I forgot. So it could numb I down. Bitch, I think the bitch was coming over or some shit. He like was, that. he was, um, I think he was hard and he was trying to chill. He was trying to cool his shit off, like trying because his That's shit. That's what was he was just, trying to do. I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I just know the first thing. The first thing I remember from that movie was the nigga got hard in class and was trying to cover his yeah, shit. Yeah, cover shit. Book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. That ever happened to y'all? Like getting um, hot in school? Getting that? Yeah, 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 for sure. All the time. What? Yeah. That shit used to go. My shit used to go crazy. Nigga, I get hard at work bitches, still to bro. this day, nigga. Mm. What's the ratio of niggas Pause. to bitches at your job? Nigga, is no bitches at my job. It's only, like, <laughs> it's only like it's only like one shorty at my job. Like everybody, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> everybody so talking about one for? shorty. It just still Why happens. Why are you getting hard at work? You be hard at work and there's no bitches at your job? No, 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 no. It just it be on some morning type shit. Like on the morning. So 
first instinct oh you see in all these niggas at your job and your dick is hard. What's good, my niggas? Nah, What's just, up, y'all? Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, 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 nah. What? That's not like that. Nah, cool, my man. shit, my shit, still. You feel me? Crazy. My shit is healthy. That's, I think. I think my morning wood function is like broken. So once my body my is mind. tired. No, I'm saying my shit work, but I think the function is overactive. Once I'm tired, my shit get hard. So I, I used to be drowsy in school. I get drowsy, my dick get hard. <laughs> so like Didn't I, he say there was another reason why his dick get hard too? No, nah, it was know. the same shit. That's probably like, why once my I'm dick tired. be hard at work. Yo. I be tired. Don't try so, to take I this be, nigga. nigga. If you, you see me, me uh, yeah. you see me yawn three times in ten minutes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah nah. Yeah, yeah, be worried. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know how be to hide it. Be worried is crazy, right? huh? Y'all yeah, know how to hide it though, right? What in your waistband? Yeah, yeah, yeah nah. That shit's sure. getting old now, bro. Yeah, just just let the shit poke out. <laughs> let me just let that shit just do. Nah, what do, fuck bro. no. Yeah, not at work. Like that shit. Bro. I just grab my shit. If you, it's better than you seeing my shit. You, know you can't what do I'm, that in public, know, though. You might know what I'm doing, but at least you don't got to see my dick. You know, it's crazy because at the end of the day, we're all animals, right? So we know when certain animals are at heat by what they do or what they present as. You know what I'm saying? Technically, clothes is like a man-made thing. But Facts, we probably bro. Could, we probably was meant to be naked, for real. Yeah. So it's like, you would know when somebody is horny because it's like, yo, my dick is hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's only us that's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm that was like that's like what happened after Adam and Eve, right? I forgot exactly how that story yeah. went. You feel me? Like, Not for sure. Where shame went. came into play. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you're more smart now. So it's like if we all walking around naked, we're not thinking nothing of it. Then it's so be it. But now we smart. It's like this nigga is naked. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, are we smart or are we dumb? No, we're smart. Why? I think if we're meant to be naked, mm. nigga, because she bit the apple. Ask her. I yeah, don't know. yeah. You know what I'm saying she flopped it. She yeah she she sold us out. What did the apple do to her? It gave her intelligence. There you go. She wasn't supposed to be smart. Well, I guess. For me. What are you saying, Denny? Um, yeah, I think how long after if society was to stop wearing clothes today, how long y'all yeah, think it would take y'all for y'all dick not to just get hard all the fucking time? Like for this shit to just be normal. Is that what you think would happen? Yeah, I think it would uh, eventually Hell get yeah. normal enough where nope. you not. If I see a bad bitch walking by. And I start fantasizing, my dick gonna get hard. But that doesn't happen to me now. Like I, when I walk down the street, and I, even if I see a bad bitch, I'm she not, not hard. She's not, she not naked. naked. Oh, she's naked. Everybody, everybody naked. naked. Mm. You know that's that's different too. Because if I go to a strip club, I'm not hard in a strip club. See, I'm saying but it's gonna it's, become it's normal. different. It's like mm. you a hoe. You know these. You know, <laughs> what these bitches, you know what these bitches is there for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like you just gonna be seeing. But it's like you see random bitches so walking by. You're like, Damn, that's where mad. that there's some type of like mental connection between. Because technically, a naked gal is a naked gal, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but you if she's cut in a strip on club, and, and I'm sure there's some niggas that get horny in a strip club. But y'all, a lot of niggas. Freaks, I've you know been saying? horny in the strip club. But I mean, like you know, what I'm talking about like mad horny type shit. But I'm saying. You're able to more so suppress it, I feel, yeah. versus if you just happened to stumble upon a cute girl out here that was naked. You like, oh shit! You know what I'm yeah. I guess that's um, because in or a strip seeing a girl club, you like naked for the first time in a strip club, that's what you them. that's what you expecting. Like you go right. in there expecting that. Yeah, like, so you that already ele- know. the mental part of it, I me? guess, is like you're ruining the anticipation in the strip club because it's like, all right, I know I'm getting this. Yeah. So there's something that unlocks some type of pheromones or whatever the fuck yeah. the word is hormones or whatever when you don't know this is about to happen and yeah. then it happens like oh shit but if you just it. walk in mcdonald's you see a fat ass she turn around and you see her titties it's like damn mm. you know how they say like um talking and all this shit is foreplay well they make it seem like that's what it is for women mostly mm-hmm. niggas got that for the anticipation the mystery yes yeah, of not knowing if you gonna get it or not right so if a stranger on the street might get your dick harder than the stripper because you know this is what she here for. She's mm-hmm. here finessing everybody out their money and you're not even considering unless you one of them niggas that's going to pay mm-hmm. on the spot and that's how they operating. You just know that this is not where it's going to go. So you just might admire some good titties or fat ass. Mm-hmm. I remember I was talking to my son the other day and um, because I was going out um, and I was telling him like technically I was going out with somebody that I could have brought straight to my crib, right? It, that could have been, all right, my nigga, we go straight to the crib. Facts. But I still wanted to do the whole, it was somebody I haven't dealt with in a minute, too, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so you wanted to quarter a little bit? Yeah, you okay. feel me? 
Um, because I feel like that's a vibe, you feel me? And I, I had described that as full play too. I'm like, yo, this type of shit is full play too. But I don't know if I was wrong in saying that because he said that's not full play. No, I so don't think that that's wrong. How far because does full play start in advance? Uh, I think if that's for you, if that's what turns you on, that's full play for you. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Type right. shit. I feel like in a way that's full play because. At the end of the day, it depends might be on touching each other, yeah, what you, you never say know what you do in that moment. Yeah. It's not necessarily the food and the drinks that's foreplay. It's right. what's happening in that moment yeah, that anything becomes foreplay. Be four play. Yeah, niggas could be fucking sexual, talking sexually right. to each type other shit, word, day, word, type word, shit, word, you know? Word. And then it's like, like Danny said, the anticipation, you know, the mm-hmm. buildup of mm-hmm. what's going to happen mm-hmm. leads into that might be more than kissing type shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or hugging. There could be no sexual talk and it's just like, you f- you feel like it could happen like yeah, so, so the vibe the it. vibe is giving you like yo yeah, yeah, yeah she, she fucking she tonight. really fucking with me yeah. like yeah. she she seemed like she's with whatever and I didn't even say nothing about sex but I just get that vibe off of her um does a girl being cool make you want to fuck her cool as in what like she's cool like you're saying like um like she wanted a bros clue cool. in that kind of vein. Like, yo, say you talking about yeah, I was here playing two K early, and she happens to know some shit about two K. And it's like, oh, all right, she understands some shit, but things of that nature. Would that make you want to fuck her? Mm. No, I just think that it might give me like uh, a vibe to her more type yeah. shit. Like, yeah, it don't okay. make me want to fuck her. I'm just like, oh shit, that's, that might that's lit. That might make you put a um a little more. The, the, might the, go the, in the wifey category. Nah, maybe? Yeah, the finish line seems a little more distant now. Cause before you might have been thinking, I'ma just fuck her and I, wherever this goes, it goes. Mm. Then it's like, yo, I'ma keep her around. She cool as fuck. Okay. okay. Might yeah, not be facts. wifey, but I'm gonna keep her around. Be- she she make me laugh. Because from what I hear from Gal, that is a thing that makes women fuck men. Mm-hmm. You know what? what I'm saying? What? Like there'll be niggas that they don't even find attractive like that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga, he was know charming, shit. or he was he funny, he was cool. You know okay. I'm saying he related to okay. certain things. Never flirted and, with her, and he's he like, just, yeah, he's cool as fuck. They go, he, he got the fuck. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like with women is different with us. I feel like men as generally, no, not as. Well. <laughs> 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 nigga was caught because I, I was speaking fast. All right, cool, my bad. Go but on. as a nigga, <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> um, I feel like men choose women. Based off of looks, then they worry about the personality. Like mm-hmm. you could fuck a bitch like this bitch dumb as hell, but she look good as fuck. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of her. Yeah, keep yeah. it going till the wheels fall off. <laughs> Women, you feel me? They choose niggas off of like the personality mm-hmm. already. At first, it's like, uh, he don't look that good. But once you get to talk yeah, to her, what yeah. kind of nigga you, you feel are me? Yeah. Once you see who you are, where you live, what you you feel me? Then mm-hmm. it's like, all right, fuck the looks. I'm a you feel me? Got you. What is it overall? They checking to see if you're that nigga particularly or are they looking for certain little mini qualities that's money. like oh i could money <laughs> that's it <laughs> i say <laughs> talking about that's, that's it it, it depends on it certain bro. broke niggas it depends, be fucking though. bitches bro but see the broke niggas yeah, that be but, fucking bitches be having like a game like a yeah they, tote they got the riz bro yeah okay. you feel me okay. feel me it don't take a lot much of niggas that don't got riz mm. you feel me that's but, too yeah. much work bitches be having different modes they be in though that's, that's, I, was, that's I was just about to say that they could just seasons yeah, it could mm-hmm. sometimes it could just be yo attraction is what's gonna get her to fuck a nigga, but because today because she's not too too curious about what comes after that. Yeah, it's just yo this nigga look good as fuck. I want to give him some pussy. Mm-hmm. Then other times it's um this nigga got bread. I see the chain. I see all this shit. I'm gonna give him some pussy because Facts. I might be able to get something out of him later. Eighty five percent of women is fucking right. for money. Um, do you think women? And that's the truth. That's science. I think I think that might be it might feel like that because of the, the society that we belong to. I heard that from Major Golo. No, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go Listen, I, I'm gonna be honest about this, and y'all tell me if I'm tripping, right? I want to say early 2000s, maybe yes, roughly. There was like a typical type of nigga that bitches used to drool over. Um, it seemingly like he would be light skinned with braids, mm. probably ripped or some shit like that, I'm saying. And then eventually, at some point in time, that switched. And then a majority of girls are saying like, yo, we like dark skin niggas and shit like that. You feel me? Like, I don't know mm. if it was like a trend yeah, or some shit like that. Dark skin niggas definitely took over like the early 2010s. Yeah, I, yeah, I right? see that. Yeah, for sure. I would, agree, I would agree with that Hell too. Yeah. What are you saying? Your pussy Do- race started going down them times? 
<laughs> I was already in in a relationship. I don't uh, know. Right, so right. they stopped. They stopped right. shooting. They shot on the street though. All what right. I'm <laughs> asking is, do you think there was a correlation between a lot of women getting done dirty or they heartbroken by people that they felt fit that ideal? Image mm. they were looking for, yeah, and then they, they had over. a light skinned nigga and, they, and he fucking dogged her, and then yeah. she's like, I'm going to dark skin, and then now dark skin niggas is dogging y'all the same fucking way. So and I was like, the, All these niggas ain't shit. Yeah. The problem is the nigga that the, that society deems attractive mm -hmm. has more options, but if it's just we just talking about sex, you got more options. So, uh, bitches, if light skinned niggas is in style right now. Bitch is going to throw the pussy at the light skinned nigga. Mm -hmm. Then when it time passes, mm -hmm. they're going to be angry at the light skinned nigga because the nigga had so many options. He didn't know what to do with himself. Mm -hmm. That's right. why y'all y'all all remember a time where Shorty just looked at you and was like, Yo, you got mad bitches, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's because they like, yeah, they know. they That's them saying they like you. Yeah, it's they them saying they, they find you attractive. So they mm -hmm. know they other women now. have to find you attractive. Yeah. Um, I think it has something to do with music, though. Like, what who was, like, the, the best artist at the time? Because I feel like around that time, when the preference started changing the dark skin, that's when Atlanta started taking over. And <laughs> Atlanta like, got more dark skin. they got mad dark skin. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne be burning them up over there. Lil Wayne was the top artist. Okay, okay, I can see what you're saying. And that time when they wanted light skin, it was, like, Trey songs, Chris Brown. Okay, he might be on to something. You feel me? Like, light skin niggas in the camera. But now, but you, you know what it also was, too? So... Okay. Oddly enough, at that time, R and B was more so non aggressive mm. than what it is now. You feel me? So it's like you got these pretty boys or whatever mm -hmm. singing that type of shit, and then it's like, yo, we not on that no more. You feel me? Yeah, they want to get choked now. Yeah, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. um, but really and truly, everybody should have truthfully liked who they liked yeah, the man. whole time. Cause I've seen people. They get persuaded into even liking certain things based on who Facts. they friends Very true. is Jackie. Facts. You see me? It's like, yo, yep. you got a fucking brain on your own, my yep. nigga. If you like dark skin people, you like dark skin people. You like light like, skin yeah. people, you like light skin people. You feel That's me? why I had to persuade um, them back. <laughs> used, to, used to be like, yo, I don't even like light skin niggas. Yeah, you feel me? Two yo, weeks later, I don't know if you know about that era live, but yeah, niggas. I remember, to nigga, hard, I was in high school going through it. No, nigga. no, I'm saying, well, both eras, I could say them. You know what I'm saying? Because there's to be a time. It was even now. It's still kind of present. You know what I'm saying it'd be like, "Yo, I seen a um post. It said, um, I ain't dating no light skin nigga because I don't want no hoochie daddy. <laughs> what? It's some shit like that. No hoochie mama. It was very disrespectful. Oh no, it was not damn. daddy. Because daddy kind of makes sense. I'm sorry, the shit daddy. Said, I'm sorry you had mama. to go through that. Now I'm saying they be trying to violate. I'm, it, damn. You know? you I'm sorry, me? daddy. So it's like, damn, my nigga. That's why you got niggas in jail. You feel me? And, Taking penitentiary chances because niggas be trying to violate yeah. niggas, bro. Niggas are automatically. To prove what you niggas. mean in jail? Taking niggas because niggas be trying to prove that they not soft. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. You feel me? Like, I thought you were saying that's like why you the got short it. niggas. The short there'll be a lot of wild oh short niggas that's just ready to shoot anything, yeah. like, ready Napoleon to fight everybody. Type shit. Light skin niggas had they they time. Everybody, I'm sure Dwight swung on a few people just. Just so niggas understood. Like, nah, yo. I always had tough skin, my nigga. You feel me? You got to know yourself at the end of the no, day. No, I'm talking and about, like, I'm not talking about verbal. When niggas look like niggas is moving like you soft. Like, okay, you know, okay, you gotta, okay, 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 okay. You got to right, pop cool. on these Different niggas time. first. I think you talking about with the gal then. All right, man. Okay, okay. okay. Talking right. about, like, niggas really yeah, yeah, for niggas sure. treat light skin niggas like they pussy. So you, you have, yeah. you kind of end up having to be tough. That's colorist, man. Stop yeah. doing that, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, oh, man. what would you say about that? Binks is a brown skin nigga. He I avoided. feel like he next stuff. I like ain't never brown skin, these issues, man. Yeah, brown I'm skin about in the middle. Style, you're in the middle. You type shit. I'm a side, caramel nigga. type nigga. You nigga. feel me? Like, you got to just watch me, everybody feel fight feel while yeah, he stole everybody, bitch. Bullet. While I'm just chilling. But yeah. Um. Yeah, niggas ever heard of like felching? Nah, what's that? Felching. Spell it. F E L C H I N G. Never Use it in that. a sentence. <laughs> Don't give it away with the sentence. He would have to. I, nah, yeah. he can't. He could. He could probably get by. It could like give a clue, but not give it away. This is all giving you time to think. By the way, that you should have came up with it by now, but you take. Yeah, too but he asked me this right out. Still, I'm trying no, to still buy you time. Man, my what's the origin of the word? Me when you should Just, be trying to figure it out. A nigga was felching, but. <laughs> Thank you. That's how. That's no. what you had to think for. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know, uh, that shit just popped out. <laughs> no. uh, it's something that he does with himself. Can can we ask? A bitch questions? was felching. All right, can we ask questions? 
Sure. I think this would be fun. How many people does it require to felch? Two. Two? And always two. It's not Is like it a... sexual? Sexual. Yes. Okay. Uh, Too sexual. Too sexual. Uh, no, that's just the two answers. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Does it involve that one person of the two forcefully initiating sex? That no, is rape. You talking about rape? <laughs> um, I was like, belching, nigga. Can, does I'm it not rapping? Is it? <laughs> is it? Does it require hands? Ah, no. Word. No. Belching. Something with your mouth. Yes. That's something with yeah. That's something with your mouth. <laughs> hey, something with close. your mouth. Okay, we're getting hot. We're getting hot. Um, I think we could start guessing. Is it something with a person's mouth on another person's head? No. Okay. Does it involve teeth? I mean, if you want. All right. So I think it's some form of head. Mm. Am I close? No, I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> All right, man. Just tell us, bro. Uh, hold on. One more guess. One more guess. Does it involve an elbow? Two. Why an elbow? I don't know. I don't know. Just <laughs> wild guess. The you. fuck? Yeah, right. Wait, one uh, guess from you before we go. One guess. What you think it might be? Um, I feel like it's licking on some type of unexpected body part. Oh, licking under the armpit. Nah. That sounds like It's sucking or eating semen out of someone's ass. What? what? Wow. Wow. Yeah, I know that one's gonna fuck y'all up. Uh, yeah. Okay. So who's doing it? I don't know. Think about I don't know. If it's two people, it's only one person that could be doing so it. So the guy's doing that. I yeah. don't know. Or another girl it's that's a, threesome. A nigga that's in the snowballing. Oh, nah, mm-hmm. I'm cool on that. Yeah. What that's, the? F- so it's only out of the ass. Is what about the pussy? Hey, listen, man. I he, found he this out, rules, bro. That's how that I go. found this out the other day. Obama I'm just no bringing felch. it to you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I don't felch. It's not my thing. Felch is great. Yo, that's that's that's, <laughs> that's like a threesome that's type probably of thing. Some art type shit. But moving why, on. While we in this realm, right? Um, lowest bid. Who's felching? Not no, me. No, no, nah, nah, Matter of nah. fact. No, 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 no. Lowest say what you was going to say. Go, go say what you was going to say, Dan. I'm save out. that. Because niggas is not felching. <laughs> Lowest yeah, 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 yeah. No, That's not happening? Nah. nah. Um, you win. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, um, I think... I nah, take 670,000. I, I was about to say, I take a million. To vouch? But to now, vouch? Yeah. You said how much, Danny? I was saying, I was going to say a mil till he said his number. Now I got to really think how much money... All right, I'll take... I'll take... Five, fifth, five, five. Five hundred... 500,000, 550. I mean, 150,000. Half a million. Half a million. Oh, I thought you said 5,500. The felch. No, no, no. What? To felch? Yeah. I'm good. I'm out of this game. You lying, nigga. That money on the table right now, bro. Only the lowest bidder is going to get the money. Boom, 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 boom. Half a million? Never. All right, cool. I'm out. You staying at that number? I would have won. Huh? Do I, do I won? won? No, yeah, I won. Do I, oh, you oh, said so half a million. Oh, no. You said half a million. Oh, yeah. yeah. You won. Yeah. So I won. Damn. You're right. not going lower than I'm that? Nah. 400,000 on don't the ask, table right don't now. Don't look no man in the eyes, Danny, and ask behind, him Behind y'all back, yes. See? Look. But, Whoa. um... <laughs> um. All right, cool. I was saying, getting older, you know what I'm saying? I'm 35 now. Binks is 37. Danny's 38. Excuse me? My, How the fuck am I older than you? How old are you again? 32, 39, right? <laughs> yeah, 30, right, cool. 32, 39, something um, like that. As I'm getting older and shit, and I'm saying, I've been saying that niggas be getting involved in more freakier shit than they probably was accustomed to before in their past. You know what I'm saying? Which is normal and shit like that. So as you guys are also getting older, would you say that it is like kind of sort of mandatory? Because I was saying it was cool to get older because it's kind of like expected to receive head. From a female, you know what I'm saying? Because she knows she kind of got to get you started. Yeah. Type shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And being the fact that head is what's getting me started, I kind of appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You kind of like, all right, cool. This nigga's a little older. Let me, you know what I'm saying? That, that head is the process to get it going? Yes. I'm a fan of that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Me too. All right. So you, does that come with the fact that situations, women, older women get into more situations where they're, it's escalating into sex and the nigga's not all the way hard yet? Um, yeah, initially, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you got to get going. I'm not going to lie. What get me before she get me had, either she got to buy me food or cook me some food. You get me started. Like, that, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> all right, cool. That's you feed first. a nigga, yeah. you might not even have to give me head. Okay. Word. Um, facts. No, I think I want that. With the head still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. I'm saying, like, let's 
sanction it. Yeah. So he makes sure that this is gonna be the most sturdy I can be before my efforts. You know what I'm saying? And um Okay. Give it all I have to give. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause you're in control of that. You know what I'm saying? Not me. I could wanna do it all I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But get me there. So this is a PSA for head. That's what this yeah, is. Yeah, and I'm okay, saying okay, give okay. more head, ladies and gentlemen. Give Whoa, more head. Give more head, ladies. Give more head. And gentlemen, if that's what you're into. <laughs> Yo, nah, I'm just so used to saying ladies and gentlemen, Listen, my nigga. I that's need like, you into. Go ahead. Just not some to me. gentlemen give head to All day in America. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, you guys have heard about women starfishing at some point in their life, right? Yeah. Who? What's starfishing? Star when they just fishing, lay there. You lay there just like a starfish. <laughs> You lay down, you got five five points on you. I uh-huh. good. You laying there, like that. Right? She don't really put in no effort. Yeah. Or nothing like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gotta get um, rid of that. She don't throw it front. She don't throw it back. She's laying. Yeah. Is it ever okay for a nigga to starfish? Yes, I'm Hell, done. Yes, yeah. niggas do that all the time. Yeah. They lay there and let their bitch ride them. Mm. That's normal. But okay. that's like that's a position you su- you supposed to do. Can shit. you ever do that off rip? Bitches can't do that. Yeah. That's yeah, there's nigga, been times. It's like where... a start off. No, I'm saying like you and her have no sexual rapport yet where she knows you can fuck shit out of her or nothing like that. Oh. This is you and her's first encounter. Yeah. Can you starfish? That's gangster. Yes, yes, bro. Yes. Because when she's riding your dick, you just got to lay there. Nigga, if your tonight. dick good enough, you could do anything. <laughs> well, she's finding that out in the moment. Once she gets you know, on she, the dick, yeah. bro, okay. all you got to do is lay there because she going to do the work. Okay. They lie. either gonna do that selfish thing when they just rubbing themselves like back together. Shit, you don't like that shit? I be liking that shit. It's selfish. I know, but it's nothing to do with it. Like, that shit turn me on. That shit be like rubbing the dickhead. You know like what when you be I like there. about that shit is cause I right, cool for this time period, hopefully it doesn't take too long. If you get to come out of that, I'm cool. definitely not. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To get that shit off and then <laughs> I can get my shit sometimes. off. I'm saying, yeah, I, that shit made me come. If I'm almost about. there, and then she start doing that, yeah, it's but like if, when the wall is like rubbing your dickhead. It's like, mm. what is this? That should be. <laughs> you get that from. <laughs> um, how do you feel about women not liking jackhammering? I don't like that. Like no homo. What's because this this is about to sound. Crazy. <laughs> you better not like that shit, nigga. <laughs> this was about to the sound fuck? crazy, but I'm not a fan of that. Like. Type fucking that shit is whack. Okay, what do you feel from that, bro? I think there's a point where you can't appreciate that. Nah, nah I think that I, shit is corny, bro. I, I I go back and forth. You feel me? You get to the, like you could. You can't be awesome. That should nah, make nah, the nah, pussy nah, dry, nah, bro. Not that fast. One eighth, not yeah, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, you can't be wild. <laughs> 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 You gotta fuck bitches on beat, man. Yeah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is so beat. fucking dumb, so yeah, I swear. Nah, I, know, I know what you're talking about, though, my nigga. But I was fucking this bitch the other day, and I fucked her slower, and I felt in my heart of hearts that I definitely fucked her the best. I the best, fuck right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm saying, but the thing is, like, some bitches that got like stupid fat asses, mm. it's like. You be one to hit that shit. Nah, you, you know what you gotta do? You but, just um, gotta fuck it slow, porn, bro. You just gotta. It's yeah, the porn fucking you up. Porn right? fucked us up. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. gotta fuck it slow and just jiggle her butt, bro. Mm. But another thing is, I also be. I come faster now. Now I'm saying. Old, so part old. part of me savoring it is I. Take my time, watch us on TV for a little yeah, you bit. I'll yeah, say yeah. watch it for a little bit. The whole time look. she think I'm modding it up like it's some Yo, science. Nah, I'm gotta, just trying not to come. This Push what you do. I'm not going. Yeah, to, put yes, them together. Put the cheeks together and just keep slapping her ass, bro. You gotta like Word. find nah, the this, fuck. This what you do. Them Push them together. Find Word. something else to do to take your mind out. Keep you hard. Yes, bro. When you in a pussy and you don't want to come. Just think about all the parking tickets you got to pay. Now, that's a fact, but you don't want to go soft. Nah, yeah, real. you don't want to go soft. So then you, that's that's the problem it. when you get older, though. Because <laughs> when you're younger, it's like, all right, cool. I'll just be semi-hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Nigga, you might fuck around and go soft, and then now you got to have a talk with yourself. <laughs> and now she looking back at you like, you okay? When you feel and like you're about to like, come, just yeah. pull your dick out and just rub it on the pussy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not gonna or like just make them suck your dick too. Take, you know what I'm saying? Nah, so, that's gonna make nah, that's gonna come, make you bro. come. That's gonna make me come. Don't mm, do that. I think that's my go-to for that. Though, Don't do that. that. Next time y'all hitting it from the back, make her um reach under and play put, with your balls. No, put two fingers where on 
on one finger on each side of your dick. A, a, a spot. One oh. finger on each side of your dick and tell her like try to like, like, pin, like grab it. No, just push up. So if this is your dick, she pushed the fingers up. You're gonna feel like that little extra pressure on your dick. Mm, she like just pushing up on your dick? Yeah, what cause your dick ain't gonna get down here. I hope not. If your shit could get down here, you got a problem. So it's gonna push she push up on Hold your on, shit. you fucking her from the back. She reached under. She reached under. She do the ice spice. She's at the base of your dick and your balls. She throw well, up the piece. Your, she's at she's at her pussy. Like right at the, the gate of the pussy. Just okay. Push so the piece and as you're up, putting yeah. your dick through, yeah. you're feeling that. Yeah. So it's like extra pussy lips. So she, yeah. Right. It's but like it's, it's firmer more firm. pushy pussy lips. Oh. Man. Okay. okay. So do it kind of make her pussy tighter because she's pushing your dick upwards? I, like I my, would assume it's it more does, pressure. It does that. And I like then my it's, more, it's pressure on the side of your dick. So it's like a two. you feel in two different sensations. Mm, when I'm okay. hitting it from the back, I like my balls to be played with. Like she gotta like yeah that too That's jiggle lit. my balls mm. reach back and jiggle my balls I like when While I'm I fucking a bitch the, and the bed start moving that shit be the make bed? me feel like I'm doing something yo yo let me tell y'all this story right son upstairs for me was ripping something last night <laughs> <Why? Yo. laughs> long time ago it's the bed stoppers nah I have to get that, that shit I don't think I have to get that shit. they do they, bro they do yeah 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 nigga my bed and my used to end up to my fucking wall I have a dent this <laughs> my bed head uh-huh. and it's the wall I have a dent in this wall from the edge oh of the my bed God. cause yeah. when I first moved I didn't get that shit and then the shit just slide and slide and slide and end up over there but <laughs> you gotta get kept the, going yeah you gotta get the grip <laughs> slow shit. train yeah facts <laughs> oh yeah. shit now when I was younger I used to fuck with this bitch that lived in the projects right mm-hmm. and fucking she had a bed yo this yes nigga <laughs> 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 just joking yo. project Community, yo, this bitch That's fucked fucking, up, dude. Like, uh, like my first time fucking this bitch, right? <laughs> this bitch was giving me head, and then she started like fucking me, right? Mm-hmm. Like she's fucking me because the bed is moving from the wall, bro. Like no homo. Right. Whoa, what's going <laughs> yeah. on today? I, I don't know, nigga. Niggas be getting pegged out here. You feel me? I'm not doing that. Y'all choose the language wisely. You feel me? Like, so she's like, this bitch is riding me. Bro, Thank you. Right, and the bed is separating from the wall. Like after I came and like you know we get up and shit, I looked at the gap between the wall and the bed. That shit is like this <laughs> far. So you I'm go like, walk through that shit. I'm like, how the fuck the bed get all the way? Yeah, bro. Like, Man, That's... that should be happening. I'm like, stupid hoe. Yeah, you know and I'm saying she said um, this should be happening. He was like, yeah, that should be. Yeah, she happening. get fucked out. I mean, um, <laughs> no shit. Fucked out. Some <laughs> shit I seen today too. Um, if you got a bed head, or say like you're in a hotel and the bed is on some. Knocking the wall, wall. wall shit. You know what I'm saying you could put pillows behind, behind the, the, the mattress and shit behind the headboard. Headboard. Oh, headboard. You know what I'm saying so it doesn't slam into the person's um shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying that's considerable. Oh. Yeah, Ain't nobody on yeah, that side of my bed I pay for that, this room. Man. I'm slamming the shit out of these walls. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. And you should be on the same timing. Yeah. Fuck that. Man. Man. What the fuck are you doing in Turks and Caicos not having sex? All right. The fuck I ain't come out here for a fucking nigga. I fuck hotel vacay. rooms up, man. I do yeah. not give a fuck, man. I. What? Have you ever slept in a hotel room, like a cheap hotel room, other than for the purpose of having sex? No. Like no. just sleeping there? Yeah, I had to do that shit for work upstate one time. Word. Like, yeah, that should make you contemplate life a lot. Word? Yeah, because you don't want to wrap up in a blanket or nothing like yeah. that. Yeah. You know? So it's like, like you one sleep of the motels where? type vibe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I never yeah, the whole no room smell like, like old carpet. Yeah, you the sleep. Blanket smell like old carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, certain hotels, you wrap up all of that shit, nigga. Like, this is better than home. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I done been to resorts, nigga, and I be in that blanket like... Facts. Oh, a yeah. symbol of old. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot what it was. It, a Holiday Inn? Nigga, it was trapping in um, Virginia somewhere, my nigga. Bad bugs the next morning, son. Damn. Damn. Like, Damn, y'all did me dirty, bro. Like, Word. I never stayed in a Holiday Inn again. Damn, yeah. we stayed in a Holiday Inn. I used to always try to find at think. least... Motel Six was like the cheapest hotel that had like a standard. Yeah. Now I'm saying they gotta keep their rooms a certain way. You feel me? Um, yeah. So that and up from now on, my nigga. Nigga, I was in a hotel crazy. recently. The fucking bed, like it's like every time I'm fucking a bitch, I feel the springs under the bed. In, like in the it mattress? was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like it was sitting on like springs in a. Mattress was just, it was some dirty you ass. You had one of them fold out shits that they bring. What well, it was Word. like a bed? <laughs> it was like a, a flimsy ass mattress, and what, whatever was under it was like springy in a way. Okay, okay. them springs was in the mattress, nigga. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm saying like that but shit, I was don't, feeling it's that not shit. a vibe for real. And so I saw the some... mattresses is fucked out. That's what that means. Yeah. Yo, when I was in Mexico, 
Yeah, y'all ever seen a mattress like that has springs in it, just stripped, and it's just the spring? Sometimes the spring oh, nah. will come out the mattress. I seen right that in like movies thing. and shit, nah, the like nigga had, cartoons and shit. The nigga had that, just the springs that are built out for a mattress on his back, what? on a bicycle on the highway in Mexico. In Mexico, what carrying that shit to the cartel? That's crazy. I don't know what he was transporting. That He's about to torture somebody <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with that shit. Nah, I'm saying they probably make that shit into fucking machine they about, guns. They're gonna make it back into a a mattress. They're just gonna. Store cocaine co- in oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Line it, line <laughs> that, that makes shit. sense. I'm sorry, Cartel. I didn't mean to tell your secrets. Yeah, we always come on vibes, Cartel. Here, yeah, yeah he's already <laughs> locked up, so yeah, don't yeah. worry. Man. <laughs> I see they rushed this nigga crib the other day with his family in it. Vibes Cartel, yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, wow, he already why they locked still up. doing shit like that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. Free the world, boss, man. Um, what I want to say, oh, Danny, we went out yesterday. Um, not us on a date. Other niggas were there. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it was it. a double date. It was not a double date either. <laughs> yeah. Other niggas? It was four months. Yeah. Oh, okay. it was a double right. date. Oh, um, shit. I just wanted to give a PSA to people out there so we could grow as a community and do better. You feel me? <laughs> they say having knowledge is not worth anything if you're not able oh, to shit. share it with others. You feel me? Um, we reached there. There was a group or a couple of young ladies there. Um, I guess they were waiting yeah, for their bag? food. No, we weren't sitting next to them. All right. But we could see it. Okay. They were waiting for their food, right? I guess for a time period that they didn't appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Too long. Too long. Okay. This bitch, she's there getting super loud with the waitress, hand gestures and all this type of shit. And waiting for her food? Yeah. I'm like, yo, bro. Did they get up and leave after? I think eventually her friend convinced her to leave. Because you still have to wait on the food yeah, now. Yeah, because they you still got to give you your shit. Yeah, bro. Like, about nigga, to spit all in it. <laughs> yeah, like, did that go, make man. sense in your head that, like, yo, I'm about to do all this and, yeah, bring me my shit, my nigga. Nah, like, you don't, you don't, yo. Hey, listen, PSA to you motherfuckers out there. <laughs> you do not scream at waitresses and waiters. They will spit in your yeah. fucking food, step on your burger, and give you back the bun. Sound nigga. like you did that listen, before, bitch. Hey, listen, I used to work at Wendy's. Oh, shit. And I watched the fucking manager, Linval, right? He ain't <laughs> shit. This nigga, this nigga dropped a baked potato on the fucking floor, right? Yeah. Look at me, my nigga. You a dirty nigga. <laughs> this nigga took the baked potato out. This was like my first job, right? Yeah. The nigga fucking took the baked potato out the fucking draw shit. Like six of them shits fell, bro. Mm. The nigga started throwing them shits right back in there. Hoof, 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 hoof. Damn. Yo, bro, Somebody getting that The to one eat. that was, that fell out of the whole foil, the mm. nigga picked it up, threw it in the fucking container, cut that bitch open and threw all the toppings on it. And I'm looking at this nigga like, you ain't just do that, you, my nigga. Yo, Linvel, you ain't shit, yeah, nigga. I was like, yo, piece of shit, my nigga. You gonna serve that? Yeah, he was like, yeah, man, the people I feed. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I used to work at the the Wendy's right there on Rutland and Utica. That nigga used to work there too. He ain't shit. You heard? No shit. Yeah, Don't go a there. Bitch ass yo, nigga, what bro. year you was there? <laughs> Linval. <laughs> oh, shit, Danny. I can't even Long fucking time. tell you. You I was got, in high school. I got in there. I was like, right, probably. This was probably like, yeah. I was going into like, if I mean, uh, twelfth grade type shit. I probably seen you in there. You That's know, crazy know you, you say that because nigga, Seven Eleven. I was getting some ice and shit, so I don't take like that first cup. That's right there. I go yeah, like to like yeah, the fifth cup. Up one. Nigga, so I dropped like three cups in the midst of it. So a nigga that worked there, he come out the back. Some short nigga, he come out the back, walk in. He see the cups on the floor, pick it up. He look. Put them shits nigga right went put them shits back. <laughs> I said, "You dirty bitch! You really just gonna put them shits back?" <laughs> nigga, what you doing? Wrong with you? He said, like, "Oh, oh!" He looked at them, threw it away. I said, "Yo, Recycle you work here?" He was an old nigga, some old short nigga. So I'm like, "Yo, if it was a young nigga, you wouldn't have done that to him." Mm. He'd have been like, you wouldn't have said that to the young you nigga. Nah, you you, 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 you lying. You would have been a little less nigga, aggressive. Nigga, I would have said, you dirty bitch. Nah. You, you dirty know bitch, you. Nigga, Still, the old nigga supposed to know better, though. Yeah, <laughs> like, you just don't give a fuck. I'm saying, like, yeah, all that type of shit is kind of, like, out of pocket. The most I did when I worked at Red Lobster, I was like, if you order some lit shit, I'm just going to take a scallop off your plate. I'm oh, not touching nothing else. You feel me? Like, nigga, oh, man, let me just get damn. one of them scallops, bro. You feel me? You had the rest of the shit. You will know that you had seven scallops. My son Phantom Tag stays scallops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> By the end of the day, I had a whole meal. You feel me? It's like, yeah, man. Um, niggas got to do what they got to do to survive <laughs> in life from time to time. You feel me? Ah. Um, yeah, I definitely used to work at that one. You know what I'm saying? With some of the mind them. You, feel you used me? to work where? 
Gateway. Red Lobster. Red Lobster, yeah, yeah. Yo, I ever told y'all niggas about the fucking... The fight I had in Red Lobster? For what? Over there in Gateway? Save that for Patreon. Oh, shit. Yes, for the motherfucking Telling Patreon. a couple stories on Patreon. So tune the fuck in. Because for the Patreon. Sorry, I gotta go get the exclusive motherfucking tier. stories and shit. Medium Dirty Tears, where you get the exclusive episode every week. And nobody else gets to see that shit. Medium we had dirty. a butt plug be pulled out and licked. <laughs> on one of them episodes Whoa. I'm not saying You gotta who, see But that shit got wild Yeah that's a fact You know what I'm saying um, yeah. Definitely We've seen a lot of Horny men sign up Appreciate it man We're <laughs> horny men too And um So we know why we, y'all Signing yeah, up Yeah 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 And I'm saying uh, Expect more of that content On the other side of The uh, Patreon You know what I'm saying We trying to tap in And do things that we know Y'all like Within our reason You know what I'm saying In a heterosexual fashion And um, make these things uh, An experience For everybody you know I'm saying thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for um continuing to listen to our fuckery on a week to week basis. Know what I'm saying, um, I feel like this is like a home for a lot of people. You feel me? Like every week, it's a part of their routine. Know what I'm saying, I be Thanks. hearing people like, "Yo, if it's not up by 10 a.m., come for y'all." Know what I'm saying, like, yeah. "Yo, what's up?" I have my spliff rolled up, my nigga. I have my meal ready right here, my nigga. So you fucking up their routine. Yeah, so um, this is all shit that we trying to stay conscious of and make sure we have ready for you guys on time. It's a lot of work and we trying to do the best of our ability because we're doing it ourselves. You feel me? Um, so the support that y'all do give, it goes a long way because it enables us to employ, you know what I'm saying? Um, outsource and uh, make this shit a smoother process to get you guys the things that you need to get on time. I'm saying, but if you're just tuning in for the first time, thank you for joining us. If you've been continuing in, con- if I said what? If you've been con- content, if you've been you know continuing, continuing, continue. Tuning in sounds like the same shit. If you continuing, tuning in. Yeah, there okay, you go. Right? I that wasted was like, mad that was like a, gunshot. That was just like a now. tongue twister. I'm sorry, but, my nigga. Yo, I got a tongue twister. What happens when you know how to eat pussy too good? You tongue. You say twist. you got a what for us, Binks? I got a tongue twister for you. Fire for that. <laughs> <laughs>